This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the pH scale. The pH scale measures how acidic or basic a substance is. The pH of a substance is equal to the negative log to the base 10 of its hydrogen ion concentration. If we know the pH of a substance, we can calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions. So the concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to 10 to the power of the negative pH. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, although it is possible to have negative pH numbers. The pH scale is inverse. That means that substances with a low pH have a high concentration of hydrogen ions and substances with a high pH have a low concentration of hydrogen ions. If we think in terms of hydroxide ion concentrations, a substance with a low pH has a low concentration of hydroxide ions and a substance with a high pH has a high concentration of hydroxide ions. Next, we look at the relationship between the concentration of hydrogen ions and the concentration of hydroxide ions. If the concentration of the hydrogen ions is equal to the concentration of the hydroxide ions, the substance is neutral and the pH at 298K is 7. If the hydrogen ion concentration is greater than the hydroxide ion concentration, the substance will be acidic and the pH at 298K will be less than 7. And if the concentration of hydroxide ions is greater than the concentration of hydrogen ions, the substance will be basic and the pH at 298K will be greater than 7. Next we look at how a change in one unit of pH changes the concentration of hydrogen ions. A change in one unit of pH represents a tenfold change in hydrogen ion concentration. For example, if the pH decreases from 5 to 4, that represents a 10 times increase in the hydrogen ion concentration. If the pH decreases from 3 to 1, that represents a 10 times 10, which is a 100 times increase in the hydrogen ion concentration. If the pH increases from 9 to 10, that represents a 10 times decrease in the hydrogen ion concentration. So if the pH increases from 11 to 14, that represents a 10 times 10 times 10, which is a thousand times decrease in the hydrogen ion concentration. Next we look at an example. Black coffee has a pH of 5 and toothpaste has a pH of 8. Identify which is more acidic and deduce how many times the hydrogen ion concentration is greater in the more acidic product. So black coffee has a pH of 5. The concentration of the hydrogen ions equals 10 to the negative pH. So the concentration of hydrogen ions equals 10 to the power of negative 5. That gives us a hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per decimeter. Next we look at the toothpaste. Toothpaste has a pH of 8 and the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So that's 10 to the power of negative 8. So the hydrogen ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 8 moles per decimeter. So which is more acidic? Well, the pH of the black coffee is lower than the pH of the toothpaste. Therefore, the black coffee is more acidic. The second part of the question asks how many times greater is the hydrogen ion concentration? So black coffee with the lower pH has the higher concentration of hydrogen ions. So an increase in hydrogen ion concentration from 10 to the negative 8 to 10 to the negative 5 represents a thousand times increase. Therefore, black coffee is a thousand times more acidic than toothpaste. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.